kind of amazed and inspire when I step back and look at what our customers are doing with our technology. And, you know, we have hundreds of technical sessions here where we get in depth, you know, as we've always done at historically, you know, EMC worlds. But we're also taking a broader view and saying, hey, you know, what's, what's this really all about? What's the impact in, on the world? And the fact that the most creative of people from Leonardo da Vinci to Einstein, Ben Franklin, but Steve Jobs and Ada Lovelace, whomever they may be, all love both the humanities and the science. They stand at that intersection of sort of liberal arts technology. And that's so important in today's world. This country is a very special country to immigrants if you work hard um, and if you're willing to apply yourself. And I'm a product of that hard work and now as an Indian American, now living in California. So I feel very fortunate for all that both the country and people who invested in me over the last many decades have uh, helped me so become you were, who I am. You were... Most importantly, I think that has stuck for me is that human progress is indeed possible through technology. And this is the best showcase possible. And when you can enable human progress, which cuts across boundaries of nationality, uh, and you know boundaries of any other kind. I think we are in the winning streak. The service dog training program is built to have dogs help veterans in assimilation and help them with daily activities and uh, post-traumatic stress, all sorts of different things. And they're different, those are therapy dogs. So those are dogs that will go everywhere with someone and really take care of them. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, donation and experience for the veterans to be able to have that.